At number 10, Brody Jenner and Caitlyn Carter. Reality stars Brody Jenner and Caitlyn Carter had a short-lived marriage that lasted just over a year, and though they've been together since 2013, marriage seemed to be one of their most regrettable decisions as a couple. Not because it was toxic, but because it just wasn't right for them. Technically, they weren't even legally married, but they saw themselves as married, so I guess that's just good enough for me. The couple saw themselves as best friends and made their bond stronger after getting married in Indonesia in 2018 before splitting in the summer of 2019 but it seems that during this time they were having second thoughts about their commitments to one another. Caitlyn wrote about her thoughts around her relationship with Brody where she said that she started wondering early on whether he was really the right partner for her. Caitlyn also said that they did a lot of growing apart during the first year of marriage and they both knew that things just weren't working out. There were a number of reasons why their marriage didn't work out like their personal journeys and even their work environment saying that working on the hills wasn't good for them. Bottom line here is that sometimes even marrying your best friend can have its faults. At number nine, Eminem and Kim Scott. Rapper Eminem, aka Marshall Mathers, and ex-wife Kim Scott had a rocky relationship from the very beginning. They met in the late 80s when Marshall was 15 and Kim was 13. They lived together at his family home and later began a romantic relationship, moving in together and having a daughter. After years of being an on and off again couple, the two got married just before Marshall's first major tour. But it was then that Kim saw Marshall and their relationship without her rose-colored glasses and where she began to regret her marriage to the rapper. Kim said that after the tour, Marshall Marshall got a big ego and started treating her as someone who was not worthy of his love and presence since he was such a big star. Kim also alleged that her husband had been cheating on her. The rapper's career had a very negative impact on their relationship and so two years after tying the knot, they got divorced. They eventually tried things again in 2006, but that didn't even last the whole year. Before I continue on with the video, please do consider leaving a like on this video if you are enjoying it so far. We love seeing you guys support the channel, so go and smash that thumbs up button. At number eight, Vanessa Morgan and Michael Kovac. Now there isn't much information out there about these two, but I'm going to include it because I want to hear your thoughts on this. Riverdale actress Vanessa Morgan and Chicago White Sox pitcher Michael Kovac had a very short-lived marriage, but no one really knows for sure why that is. I would imagine that both parties regretted their wedding because of how things ended so quickly and how publicized everything was, but it's still a mystery as to why they called it quits. The two got married in early January 2020, but just six months later, they were done. News broke of their split just three days after Vanessa announced that she was pregnant with the couple's first child, and some even speculated that Michael filed for divorce because the baby wasn't his, but that was proven wrong as representatives from both parties confirmed that Michael was the father. There were also rumors that Michael had cheated, but again, nothing has been confirmed. Looking at the past few years that Michael has had, having gone through an injury that prevented him from playing in 2019, to the pandemic pushing back the 2020 baseball season, maybe this just took a toll on Michael in a way that we might not understand. On the bright side, the two seem to be co-parenting following the birth of their son River, so maybe they're just better off as friends. In spot number seven, we have Amelia Warner. Out of anyone on this list, she probably has the least amount of regret, only because her marriage to Colin Farrell may not actually have been legally binding. Amelia was only 19 years old at the time when she married Colin during a ceremony on a Tahiti beach. It was back in 2002 that their unexpected marriage happened. But one thing that wasn't so surprising was the fact that it did not last very long. No offense to them. Just four months after they tied the knot, they called it off. But Amelia has always talked about it and demands that the wedding was not actually real, despite some people not believing her. During an interview in 2011, she said, we didn't actually get married. It's not actually true. I think we've been too polite to deny it. We had a ceremony on a beach in Tahiti that was by no means legal and we knew it wasn't. It was just a thing we did on holiday. We booked them on the activities desk at the hotel. Regardless of the marriage or not marriage, she said it was still heartbreaking when the relationship ended. What a weird thing to do on vacation. Let's go get married. Next up at number six, we have Carmen Electra and Dennis Rodman. We're not totally sure who regrets it more, but their wedding has been remembered as one of the most strange and sudden circumstances in Hollywood gossip history. The two of them got married in Las Vegas on November 14th, 1998, after what people described as an all night bender. Well, that is the ingredient to a successful marriage. <laughs> 
an all night bender. Only nine days later, Dennis filed for an annulment and claimed that he was deeply intoxicated at the time and was not in the right state of mind to make that decision. <laughs> for a brief period of time, it seemed like they had reconciled and tried to work things out. They were seen together in public in early 1999, but by March of that year, they had filed for divorce, which resulted in their marriage only lasting less than six months. After the divorce, they moved on to other relationships. Yeah, don't get married drunk. <sighs> Don't do it. Halfway through our list number five is Jeremy Renner and Sonny Pacheco. You may not have known that the actor was even married because they got married quietly just over a year ago. But less than a year after they quietly tied the knot, his then wife filed for divorce and cited the reasoning as fraud, but she actually meant fraud. They were married for 10 months and things got messy very quickly. In the court papers, Sonny demanded that he return her passport, which she claims was stolen, as well as her birth certificate and her social security card. She cites irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split and says their prenuptial agreement should be violated because it is based on fraud. On top of that, she's also asking for physical custody of their daughter Ava, as well as spousal support, use of their Range Rover, and for Jeremy to pay for her moving expenses and her rent. Her court documents have a lot to say, but the actor has remained quiet since their split. That is one messy split. Sliding into number four, we have Elizabeth Moss. We only know that she feels sour about her marriage to Fred because she called it traumatic, awful, and horrible. All words you never really want to hear when describing a relationship. <laughs> The Hands of Made Stale actress got married to Fred in October 2009, but they ended their relationship just eight months later in the summer of 2010. The two of them met when she was a guest on Saturday Night Live, where Fred had worked at the time. The divorce was filed for irreconcilable differences, but Fred later on admitted that he had been a terrible husband. Those were actually his words, not mine. During a 2012 interview, she spoke about him and said, one of the greatest things I heard someone say about him is he's so great at doing impersonations but the greatest impersonation he does is that of a normal person. To me, that sums it up. It wasn't the first time she actually spoke about her horrible experience being married to him. However, he has always taken responsibility for that. At number three, Kaylee Cuoco and Ryan Sweeting. Sometimes when you hear about someone talking about divorce, saying that their partner became a stranger after the wedding, it can be hard to hear. I couldn't imagine how bad I would feel to wake up next to someone who's changed like that. This unfortunately was the case with Big Bang Theory actress Kaylee Cuoco after her first marriage to her ex-husband, Ryan Sweeting. The two got married in 2013, but after 21 months together, Kaylee filed for divorce. After their split, Kaylee opened up about her relationship with the former tennis player, saying that her experience with him ruined marriage for her and saying, quote, I honestly thought I wouldn't get married again. My ex ruined that word for me. I married someone the first time who completely changed, end quote. She also went on to say that early on in her marriage, she felt as though something was wrong and that things were feeling off. Luckily, she's moved on and has since remarried married, but her relationship with Sweeting is probably something that Kaylee regrets. At number two, Lena Waithe and Alana Mayo. Screenwriter Lena Waithe and ex-wife Alana Mayo surprised fans when they announced that they had gotten married in a private and secret ceremony that was a spur of the moment decision, but just two months later, they announced their separation. In a joint statement to their supporters, the couple announced that they would be splitting up, and so as fans do, they speculated as to why they ended their relationship so quickly. Rumors that Lena had been unfaithful started swirling, and some sources even said that their relationship had been rocky even before they got married. According to some, Lena and Alana's wedding came after multiple cases of cheating and that even after their wedding, Lena was still buying expensive gifts for other women. Allegedly, this was all too much for Alana to handle and so they called it quits. There must be some regrets regarding this marriage because they allegedly weren't ready to settle down because of the instability of their relationship. And finally at number one, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Of all the biggest Hollywood couples, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were no doubt one of the most famous. The couple who had been together for over a decade and who adopted many children together seemed to be a picture perfect and beloved family unit. And so when they announced that they had gotten married in 2014, fans were thrilled. So many fans had been waiting for this moment and so when it finally came, it was big news. Bigger news, however, came two years later in 2016 when Angie filed for divorce. There were apparently a lot of reasons for their divorce. Their relationship dynamic had allegedly been thrown off after tying the knot because of the pressure to be completely faithful to one another since they had been in an open relationship prior and the big 
biggest reason for their split came after Brad had an altercation with their oldest son Maddox, which prompted Angie to reevaluate their relationship. This relationship lasted a long time before getting married, so maybe if that didn't happen, things would have been different. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Sophia Bush. One Tree Hill fans were absolutely thrilled when she got married to her former co-star Chad Michael Murray. They were on-screen lovers, so when they began dating in real life too, fans thought it would be like the perfect love story that we all hoped for, like me especially. They ended up getting married at a very young age, Sophia being 22 and Chad being 23 at the time. But they ended up separating just five months after getting married. Their split was a big dramatic scandal because reports claim that Chad had cheated on her with Paris Hilton while they were filming the horror movie House of Wax. Sophia has talked about it in recent years and said they were young and had no business getting married in the first place. She also said she felt a lot of pressure from production for them to get married. She said the producers often pushed them to be together for the sake of the show and a big reason why she went through with the marriage was because she felt that she would let the producers down and also the fans. It was a short lived marriage but the worst part was they had to work on the show together for years after they got divorced. That'd be so awkward. Up next, number nine, we have Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphrey. It's hard to say which one of them regretted the marriage more, so I'm gonna put both of them because it seems pretty mutual. Their relationship and wedding was highly documented on her reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Their relationship moved very quickly. They were only publicly together for a few months before he proposed and then engaged for just 90 days before they tied the knot. During the time, many people thought it was just for the reality show and the fact that they were getting their own special event called Kim's Fairy Tale Wedding, a Kardashian event. Their wedding aired and ratings were very high, obviously. It earned them 4.4 million viewers the first night and then 4 million the second night. But Kim and Chris had their issues, which we saw on the TV show, if you watched it. After just 72 hours of marriage, Kim filed for divorce for irreconcilable differences and listed the separation date as the date that she filed it. Like she wanted it to immediately be put in place. She later admitted that yes, she loved Chris, but that she got caught up in everything else that came with it, like the media and the money. Chris later responded to her legal papers and claimed that their 72 hour marriage was based on fraud and that Kim was trying to boost the ratings for their family TV show at the time. Their divorce was finalized in 2013, two years after she filed it. It was a very long legal battle, to say the least. Sliding into number eight, we got Miley Cyrus. There is no denying the love between Miley and her ex-husband, Liam Hemsworth. They were actually together for over a decade on and off. They were engaged twice before tying the knot officially back in December of 2018. Maybe regret isn't the right word when it comes to their marriage, but Miley opened up about the reasoning for their divorce and revealed that she got married for the wrong reasons. She loved him and said that she still does and always will, but admitted that their marriage was a distraction. Their decision to get married came after they tragically lost their home in the Malibu wildfires. She explained that she lost everything inside her home and that she filled that void with their relationship. She told Howard Stern, I quote, I lost everything. I just clung to what I had left of that house, which was me and him. But after getting married, she quickly realized that there was just too much conflict in their relationship and that it was not what they wanted. They got divorced officially just seven months after being married and she released a song called What the F Do I Know? And one of the lyrics is, I quote, maybe getting married just to cause a distraction, which just confirmed the things that she said in her interview. At number seven, Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds. Comedian Eddie Murphy had his quarrel with love. After a number of failed relationships, he thought he found the one when he met producer Tracy Edmonds. They dated for a few months before getting engaged, eventually leading to a lavish $500,000 wedding in Bora Bora. You know things are getting serious when you take it all the way to Bora Bora. Their wedding, which was attended by 25 people, wasn't technically legally binding but they had planned to go through the whole process upon getting back to the United States after their ceremony, but unfortunately that didn't end up happening. It is said that things started to go downhill quite quickly after the ceremony as people reported Eddie being standoffish and not wanting to spend time with his new bride. Other guests who stayed on the island after the ceremony reported that they could hear Eddie and Tracy yelling at each other fighting, which ended with Tracy in tears. Just two weeks after the wedding, they decided that marriage just wasn't for them and they called it quits. At number six, Sinead O'Connor and Barry Harris. 
marriage. If you tallied a list of celebrities who've had the shortest marriages, singer-songwriter Sinead O'Connor is definitely up there. Her 2011 marriage to Barry Harridge was very short-lived, having only lasted 18 days, officially. News broke of their split from her new husband just a few weeks after having tied the knot, when she issued a personal statement addressing her decision to end their marriage. In her statement, she revealed that though she wanted to keep her relationship troubles a secret, she was being forced to open up over fears of being exposed, and so she revealed that because of family turmoil over their recent wedding, she and Barry would be separating. Sinead revealed that her marriage was already being sabotaged by those close to Barry just three hours after the ceremony, and that she was making the decision to separate for Barry's own good, saying, quote, it became apparent to me that if he were to stay with me, he would be losing too much to bear, end quote. For a marriage to tank so quickly and to have to say goodbye to your partner like that must be very hard, and it's probably something that they wish they didn't have to go through. At number five, Wiz Khalifa and Amber Rose. Sometimes when people look back on their failed relationships with regret, it's because they have bad blood and wish they never welcomed this person into their lives. But for others, their regrets are circumstantial. This is sort of how Amber Rose felt after her divorce from rapper Wiz Khalifa. The two were married in 2013, but after 14 months of marriage, they divorced and it was a nasty breakup. There were allegations of cheating and the custody of their son was also up for debate. Years later, Amber Rose opened up about her brief marriage to Wiz Khalifa and spoke out about her regrets concerning their relationship. In an interview, she said how she regretted getting married when she did because they didn't give themselves enough time to grow in their relationship. Amber also said that she felt as though they would have had a more successful marriage if they got married later in life, calling their wedding a mistake at the time. Luckily, following their explosive divorce, things settled for them and they became good friends and that just seems to be enough for them. At number four, Jennifer Lopez and Ojani Noah. Singer Jennifer Lopez is no stranger to walking down the aisle. She's been married three times already, but the one relationship she regrets the most is her first marriage to Ojani Noah. Their relationship lasted less than a year, but their tumultuous relationship after their divorce has lasted much longer. It seems as though their relationship was destined to fail, as Ojani documented a lot of JLo's life behind the scenes, later saving it for his own tea spill. Noah tried leaking videos of the couple's honeymoon after their divorce, showing the singer in an intimate setting, and in years since, he has been very outspoken about the singer, her career, and even had plans to release a tell-all book about his ex, followed by a movie deal. Talk about petty. JLo actually ended up suing Ojani in 2009 for $10 million, citing that the videos he released, as well as the book and movie deals, violated an agreement that they had made, which prohibited him from exposing the singer's life. Jennifer now looks back on this relationship with regret and doesn't even count her relationship to Ojani as valid because of how short it was. Sniping the number two spot is Mario Lopez and Ali Landry. I'm not sure who regrets it more. Maybe Mario because he cheated on her days before their wedding, or Ali because because he cheated on her days before their wedding. They were only married for two weeks before they called it quits because rumors had surfaced that he had cheated on her. In his memoir titled Just Between Us, he admitted to cheating on her at his bachelor party and said that's what made him realize he wasn't in love with her like he thought he was. He said he went on to marry her because he felt that it was too late at the time to split up at that point. Allie didn't know about the infidelity before they got married and said she believed him when he lied and said that he did not cheat. Mario also went into details in his book about how Ali apparently changed into an image obsessed model and pressured him into proposing to her. So it seems like the wedding wasn't something that he ever really wanted. So. Ugh. In our number one spot with not much surprise is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Maybe they didn't regret it in the beginning, but I guarantee they are regretting it now more than ever. You might argue which one of them regrets it more based on whose side of the story you believe, but their divorce has to be one of the worst ones in Hollywood history. It led to a highly documented lawsuit that has been damaging to both of their careers and probably their bank accounts. They first met back in 2009 on the set of The Rum Diary, but did not start dating until 2012. In 2014, 14, Amber was spotted wearing an engagement ring and then things seemed to be going very good for them at that time. The following year, they got married in a private ceremony at their home in LA, but the marriage only lasted one year. In 2016, Amber filed for divorce and accused him of physical abuse. She filed a temporary restraining order against him and they settled a $7 million settlement outside of court. That could have been the end to everything as the divorce was finalized in 2017, but here we are three years later. I'm not gonna get into the details of this current lawsuit because I think we can all understand why they both have regrets about their marriage for their own reasons. Starting us off at number 10, we have Pamela Anderson. 
The second half of this marriage, Kid Rock may have similar feelings, but Pamela has opened up about the marriage more than he has. Their marriage is famously known because it happened suddenly on a huge yacht in St. Tropez back in 2006. Their first engagement was called off in 2003, and then three years later, they got married in July on a boat. The yacht party was a huge success, but their marriage was not. It was actually very short-lived. Pamela filed for divorce in November of 2006, and it was finalized in 2007. Back in 2018, she spoke candidly about their past marriage during an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. She admitted that she never spoke to him again after their split. For her, it was kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing, let's pretend it never happened. She does admit the wedding shouldn't have happened, but does not slam him personally for anything. Rumors actually went around saying the Borat movie was the cause of their divorce because Pamela had a cameo in it and apparently Kid Rock was mad. However, those two did shut the those rumors down quickly. So if you see that on the web, it's not true. Moving on to number nine, we have Renee Zellweger. Maybe it's just me, but I'm always surprised when I read about her marriage to Kenny Chesney because it seems so random to me. Like I always forget that they were married. They first met back in January of 2005 at NBC's Concert of Hope Tsunami Telethon. Reports say Renee told Jay Leno that there weren't any sparks between the two of them that night, but they still exchanged phone numbers. Sparks must have grown between them because they dated shortly after and only a few months after dating, they got married. Their wedding was on May 9th, 2005 in the US Virgin Islands where they invited 45 close friends and family members. Although it was a beautiful wedding, their marriage did not last long and came to an end just four months later in September. Renee filed for an annulment and cited fraud as the reason. That statement spread like wildfire and everyone was throwing shade at Kenny Chesney. But Renee came to his rescue saying, I quote, Fraud is simply language and is not a reflection of Kenny's character. I feel like she should have clarified that like in the beginning or maybe just filed for like irreconcilable differences or something like that. Like why file for fraud? <laughs> In spot number eight, we have Nikki Hilton and Todd Andrew Meester. Another marriage that you might have forgotten ever happened. Nikki was young and in love when they got married, but she is the first to agree that the marriage never should have happened in the first place. They were actually in Vegas when they made the impulsive decision to tie the knot, but their marriage only lasted 85 days. They got married in August 2004, and in November 2004, it was announced that a Las Vegas judge granted them an annulment. One of the couple's representatives released a statement saying both parties have ended the marriage amicably and they remain good friends. Nikki was only 21 years old at the time and Todd was 33, but they did remain on good terms until they eventually moved on and just met other people. So let's just pretend it never happened. Moving on to number seven, we have Britney Spears. Maybe you forgot the time that she got married to a childhood friend of hers, Jason Alexander. Back in 2004, the two of them got married in Las Vegas and set the record for one of the shortest marriages in history. Worse than Kim and Chris. They were married for just 55 hours before Britney called it off and filed for an annulment. It all began and ended on New Year's in 2004 when she invited him to Las Vegas to celebrate the new year. Jason spoke about their relationship in 2012 and revealed that they had been childhood friends for many years, but that they were friends with benefits as they got older. So how did that turn into marriage? <laughs> he said that they were very intoxicated when they jokingly said that they should get Get married that night. But Jason did have feelings for her behind closed doors and so he went with it because he liked her. He said, I went with my feelings. I was in love with her. I feel like she felt the same way. However, Brittany did not feel the same way and her annulment papers said, lacked understanding of her actions to the extent that she was incapable of agreeing to the marriage. Jason admitted that he was actually hurt by her words and her decision to end the marriage so quickly. Rolling into number six, we have Russell Brand. In more recent interviews, Katy Perry and Russell have said that they do not regret their marriage with one another, but it was not always this way. They got married in 2010, which lasted 14 months before they called it quits. Well, 
him. When they first split, Russell did not have very nice things to say about her or their relationship, and his opinion stayed that way for a few years. In his 2015 documentary called Brand, A Second Coming, he said their short-lived marriage ended because of fame and said that she was the kind of person that he hated. He said, I'm associated with the very thing I detest. Vapid, vacuous, plastic, constructed, mindless celebrity. Quite the thing to say about someone that you once loved. But his opinion and view on the marriage has softened up in the last five years. He now says that he looks at their experience more fondly now and said that he feels warm towards her, calling her an extraordinary woman. As for Katie, she has always been firm on the fact that she does not regret getting married to him and claims to have loved him very much. And if you haven't heard the story, it was actually Russell's decision to end the marriage. He actually texted her, texted her, that he wanted a divorce on December 31st, 2011. A text message. Halfway through our list at number five, we have Drew Barrymore. The actress has been in the Hollywood spotlight since a very young age, and at 19 years old, she jumped into a marriage with Jeremy Thomas, who was 31 years old at the time. Their marriage is also one of the shortest marriages in history, only lasting a couple of days. Drew has openly talked about the marriage and divorce and said, I realized my mistake on the day that I married him. It wasn't because she didn't love him though. Their relationship moved very quickly and she was also very young. Just six months into dating, they decided to get married very spontaneously. They were partying with a group of friends at 4 a.m. when the conversation came up that they should get married because they were so in love at the time. Jeremy arranged a 24 hour minister to perform the ceremony at 5.30 a.m. that same morning. They changed their outfits quickly and had their little ceremony on the roof of a bar. The next day, Drew actually had to leave to film Boy on the Side and they were supposed to go to Hawaii for their honeymoon afterwards, after she was done filming. Jeremy revealed that Drew ended up going to Hawaii alone and then called him while she was there and ended things. Yikes. In the number four spot is Chris Judd. The dancer was actually married to Jennifer Lopez back in 2001, but revealed why it did not last very long. The two of them fell in love while on set of her video, Love Don't Cost a Thing, back in 2001. They moved very quickly also, getting married just one month of being engaged. Their marriage lasted nine months and not longer than that because of the famous lifestyle. He explained what tore them apart and said that it was tough to be in that kind of limelight. He said, your privacy is breached. You're no longer a normal person. Our wedding was a circus. I think several people got arrested trying to climb up a mountain trying to sneak in. The famous lifestyle of hers just bothered him, but when asking why they split, he simply said, Says that it just did not work out. But things got a bit sticky in 2006 when JLo sued him, claiming that he demanded $5 million to keep him from publishing a book containing private details about her and their past relationship. So it might be safe to say that she has some regrets too. Sniping our number two spot is Nicolas Cage and Lisa Marie Presley. Some people might argue that Lisa was the one who had more regret because she actually ended an engagement to someone else when she met Nicholas at a party. Whoa. She was engaged to John Ozakia in 2000, but ended their engagement to be with the actor. Their relationship moved very quickly and she was engaged once again, but to Nicholas, not too long after calling off her previous engagement. They were officially married on August 10th, 2002, but Nick filed for divorce on November 25th, 2002, just a few months after. So maybe he is more regret if he was the one who filed for divorce. When asked about the divorce at the time, he said they should have never been married in the first place. So that says a lot. I think they both have regrets. In our number one spot is Cher and Greg Alman. Their marriage is one that went down in history and although there may have been some regrets at the time, Cher will always have a place for him in her heart. The two of them got married back in 1975 but separated just over a week later. They ended up getting back together and tried to work on the relationship but when they were on the verge of an official divorce, she found out that she was actually pregnant with their son Elijah. Their marriage eventually did come to an end and Cher revealed that his heroin and alcohol addiction was just too much for her to handle. She admitted that when she called him to say the relationship was over, he actually couldn't understand what she was saying. She said, I quote, he was so high he didn't even understand me. Sadly, Greg passed away in 2017, but Cher tweeted out her condolences.